Hey everybody, Zero Cool here, back again with another video, and well, let's just go ahead and get this going. So, I'm looking at the top, uh, we won't say five, let's say top six. Top six plug and play characters for Cosmic Crucible, because we both know that this is the last week of Crucible, we want to use, want to build up some characters, want to push them up, because we got a 32 day, 32 man tournament coming up next week, so make sure you're getting ready for that and here's a few that you probably should just go ahead and beef up only because i've seen that i've seen the use i've seen what they do and you definitely want to go ahead and push these characters up and the first big one is dormammu dormammu is nuts he does he basically gives you revive he does his massive ult and his his special basically stuns somebody which can stun most characters if he's built up correctly and it gets you charges so that way you know you can flip stuff so you definitely want to build up Dormammu if you don't have him um it, it, I would suggest beefing up the rest of your characters so you can go ahead and get through DD5 to get him because he is definitely a character that is worth the time and I use striker on him as an iso because I want to hit that double attack if I go ahead and possibly take him with doom um he usually goes for the ride and when he goes for the ride boom you want to hit everybody and he hits everybody on his basic and then he just targets that first person for the striker attack so that was that is very very strong so I would suggest probably building them up it is gonna be a little bit of a, of a gear sink because it's mystic but hey we gotta build them up anyway so might as well he is definitely one that i suggest that you push further if you can get him to g16 great he works fine at g14 15 but g16 he's definitely stunning somebody turn you know when you turn one basically so you want to make sure you're doing it you're getting the gear exactly to build him up um the next one gee ah uh, I pick Omega Red because he's thrown around a lot with other teams, only because of his special and his ult. And his ult is pretty damn powerful because you do need to ability block somebody and put trauma on some people too. Um, his focus really isn't as great as it was basically because characters are getting power crept and he's one of them that is. But he's still surviving long term because his stats are still increasing. And I've put him to G16 so that way he can take a hit. Um, he does put out that that beautiful ability block and sometimes he doesn't get the trauma because his focus is not as huge as it could be to overcome the resistance of certain new meta characters but he's still very useful for the ability block if he gets ability block turn one by um the ai well then um yeah it's gonna be over for him at least but if you got some other characters around that you might be using with them it might go over well uh the next one here is surfer now surfer came out he was huge it, it, his uh, his ultimate was just ridiculous you know do piercing damage ability block heal block it's great he's the stats aren't really holding up with certain amount of the metals but he can get enough done the piercing damage is what makes him still viable and i would definitely say build him up because he's definitely a good reason to go ahead and use against you guessed it Young Avengers, you go ahead and ability block Square Girl and put some, uh, you know, some heal blocks on them. Doesn't really matter if they go below 50; they won't be able to heal up. So you want to make sure you get him going. He definitely is worth the investment, at least. Well, maybe last year it was, but I pushed him up to 16 a while ago, mainly because I took him into DD5. But right now his stats aren't as great, but. His ultimate is definitely worth it, and transferring all the negative effects on him right back to, uh, you know, right back to the opponent for his basic does help because you could put some devastating negative effects right back on the enemy team if he survives long enough. But hopefully he does. He does get more speed as he goes along, but it's only a little bit. But he definitely speeds up, which is very, very good in certain matches. Um, Jesus, what what can I say? Um, at first. He wasn't that great and then they buffed him and then they buffed him again i haven't got to those buffs yet to where his ult can go turn one but doesn't matter he is still a force to be reckoned with apocalypse just comes in and just can wreck some nerds once you do his ultimate more than likely maybe about eight times out of ten you're gonna do his empowered basic and then you might as well just delete somebody which most of the time you're taking against probably unlimited or tangled web and you want to go ahead and or dark hole too and you want to go ahead and knock out the biggest ones on there which is milf um spider weaver or rogue and boof that empower basic basically just just nukes them done you're you're done son but 
You gotta build them up for it. I haven't pushed them up to 16 yet because it requires mutant gear. Everybody needs mutant gear right now. So I'm not gonna build them up. I'm just gonna keep them right here. He's doing perfectly fine right here, surviving in arena, surviving other places. But for Crucible, he is definitely a beautiful plug and play character because you could use him all around, probably for a team that has safeguard, like Unlimited, like uh, Darkhold. So you want to make sure that once that safeguard's off, boom, you're going in there and you're just wrecking nerds because that safeguard off basically neuters a lot of teams. So, and last but not least, well, maybe not least, but I have two on here that I'm really iffy about only because, well, it's either Zemo or Fury. So top five, top six, who knows? But Zemo with that turn one ability block and he's fast as hell i mean he comes in he wipes some pot wipes some positive effects off the board but then he goes ahead and he ability blocks somebody if you could if you could focus him right cool if you can't because he's on the ai he might ability block the right person he might not but doesn't matter tangled web still goes before him now i wouldn't even mention this guy six months ago but he got a rework and it's beautiful now as long as you keep him on the offensive side, Fury's going to go ahead and you can do a special, speed up your entire team, whoever that may be, and that'll give up a lit. well, maybe not everybody because it only gives out a little bit, but still, spreading those positive effects, which is great. And next thing you know, he's got some minions that they actually do damage. They do damage. That's freaking nuts. How do they do... They do damage. They actually stun somebody. They actually heal somebody. They actually put some stealth on somebody that's actually useful. It's very, very, very powerful minions that they reworked them on. And the different, I mean, you got either that, you got no damage coming from Fury, but you do got damage coming from Zemo. You do got damage coming from his special to do, maybe take out a certain character if he survives because his, his health pool really isn't that great. Neither is Fury, but he does get some barrier, so he does get some sustain out of it. So... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just I want to use both. I want to use either or. But depending on the team, depending on who I'm going against, I'm probably going to use all six of these guys. And you basically got to build them up to a point to where you need you need other characters along with it. Now you can focus yourself on a taller roster instead of a wider roster. But Scopely's trying to focus us on a wider roster and then of a taller roster, but you could always say, screw you, Scopely, we're going to do things our way. So it is what it is, but uh, but that is my top five, six characters that are plug and play for Grasm Crucible. I am a, I'm in basically right there in Masters 1, so I am, I'm not huge, I'm not low either, but I'm right around there where I'm trying to go up and around somewhere where I can, where I can get to Masters 2 eventually but with the 32 day tournament coming up you might want to rethink building some of these characters that give you somewhat of an advantage since the room bonus has changed and run seven basically went over that so definitely want to go ahead and look at that too but if you like this video like what we're putting out here go ahead give me a like share subscribe do whatever do a bunch of it for us if not go ahead hit you know double up on the fact that you're gonna go ahead and hit the like button double up and hit the dislike button twice that'll help me out probably help you guys out too so Till the next video, y'all, I'm rolling out. Deuces.